What's going on guys, Shadow Fox here and today we're back with another video and today is my top list and I don't really know the number so I'll figure it out in a minute of uh, all the Super Smash Brothers games that I've played, that I've experienced with, that I've watched, you know, all that. This is my opinions, so obviously proceed as you will, but these are my opinions on the best Smash games from order least to best. Starting with number one, Super Smash Flash, the original. Super Smash Flash is Smash 4 basically compared to Ultimate when it comes to Smash Flash versus Flash 2. Um, it's got some decent stages and good characters, but it just doesn't hold up to Super Smash Flash 2 and is the only reason why I have it this low on the list, as well as the lack of experience playing it and time playing it. So that's, that's where I take it. So moving on to the next one. Project M. Now, Project M is a rare special case because it's technically not a canon Smash game, just like Smash Flash, but yet it has been used in the competitive um, scene for a long time. Um, it was created because a lot of people weren't happy with Brawl, so they wanted to make a Brawl that incorporated the tech and speeds of Melee. So they created Project M. Eventually it died out after a while, had a few bugs, but, you know, I've only played Project M a decent amount of time. It's a great game. I wouldn't, you know, go over the top and say it definitely deserved to live longer, which it, it probably did, but, you know, it, it's whatever. So, on to the next one. Sorry for the low quality image, but this is Project Plus. And I know a lot of you are like, how can you put, like... Project Plus so low on the list, especially after putting Project M so low on the list, because both projects aren't full-on canon games, and I'm reserving the top, you know, five list or whatever for the original games, but Project Plus, the only reason it's above Project M is because of how, like, it's a mix of Brawl, 4, Ultimate, and a bit of Smash Flash thrown in there. Like, it's the Ultimate Project Plus, like, the Ultimate Project game mod that they make. It was super cool, super fun, a lot of streamers got involved, it was awesome, you know? You could see Mango and Leffen and, you know, Hungrybox playing, it was really cool. I think Mewtwo King, all that, so. It's kind of basically the same as Project M, but just a little higher because of the support it received. Sorry for the screaming. On to the next one. The one and only Super Smash Flash 2. With all your favorite characters like the Chibi Robot, Bomberman, Goku, Sora, Tails, and other characters that you would not, Naruto even, that you would not normally get in a Super Smash Bros. game and ones that you would love in a Super Smash Bros. game. Heck, this game even has Goku, so, I mean, it's what everybody wants. But this game holds special value to me above M plus and the original because I remember, and I don't know if he'll comment on this video, Mr. G and G, my good friend Gaston, me and him back in freshman year of high school used to grind this game during our uh, world geography class. We would play and play, but he beat me all the time. There were a couple times I beat him. I would have to go a gimmicky character on purpose, but not, not a proud moment. But there were times where I beat him even without going gimmicky, but he was always really good at the game. So it, it always holds a special place. It's an awesome game, a lot of characters, a lot of stages, a lot of fun. So on to now the main five Smash Bros games and at number five comes Smash 4 now before I continue into this segment of the actual five main games I want to know that I'm not putting Smash 4 above Smash Flash Project and Project Plus and Smash Flash 2 Smash, those four games were their own category so my favorite of the not canon but community made is Smash Flash 2 so this is a whole new list, but I'm compiling them all in one video. So Smash 4 is my least favorite of the main five games. Why? Because of my experience with it. I was picked on a lot. I never had a main. I, um, I didn't really like the game. The movement was sloppy. It felt like they just tried to make Brawl again, but better. And while Brawl wasn't the best, it was still better than Smash 4, in my opinion. Which, if, you're, if, if your game is less than Brawl, in anybody's opinion, that's already an issue. 
And it was also a bit of time where you had some players that made some pretty bad choices, as we heard this past July of 2020. So it, 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 a lot went into this game, but it did not much came out. So I hate to say that, but this is my number five, five on the list for the mainline games. And uh, number four is... Now that is not the actual quality of the photo, this is the quality of the game. Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 64 in 1999, the original, is my fourth place. Now the only reason this is in fourth place is because of the fact of how little I have playing this game. In fact, I've only played it maybe twice. Now not officially, like, no, no, I say twice and I don't mean I've only played the game twice. I mean, I've only had a session where I've played the game multiple times twice, like sit down and play uh, 64 for an hour. Like, I've only done that twice. My most notable time at a super big tournament about an hour away from my house where they had a bunch of 64 setups in the back. But it was fun. I played Mario. I beat a fox. It was really cool. So I do like this game. It's the original, so you can't put it on the end of the list. But so, And so on to my number three, and this one's going to be super controversial. Like super, 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 super controversial. Super Smash Brothers Melee. The only reason that this game, the only reason that this is what it is, is because similar to Smash 64 is my lack of experience. Now I've played this game for over a year now. I love Melee. In fact, I've played it bits and pieces throughout my entire life. I love this game. And the only reason that there are two games above it, and I already know what some of you are thinking, Brawl is above Melee? Are you insane? What's wrong with you? You're brain dead. I don't actually know, but I'll explain why Brawl is above Melee here in a couple moments, but not saying it's first or second, I'm not going to let you know which. But anyway, so Melee to me is very special, but I also feel that Melee is the very scene, and I know people are going to think of all people to say this, Melee has always been focused on just competitive. Now, I love competitive. I go to school and somebody says, turn items on, we'll kick you out the front door. But I love to be able to at least sit down and play calmly Smash. Like, I can sit and play Ultimate for hours at my own pace. At this game, you have to be pretty fast. You have to do that. But I love this game. There's event mode. There's, you know, the original just classic go-through, beat all the characters, beat Master Hand and Crazy Hand. There's tournaments. Tournaments for this game are ridiculous. I will give this thing the one thing. It's got the best tournaments out of any Smash game so far. Melee tournaments are the best. You got CEO, Summit. You had Evo before they dropped that on us, but we don't need them. Um, let's see, what else do we have? We have The Big House. Thanks, Nintendo. Uh, Kings of Cali. I know, Orlando. We have all those different tournaments. They're awesome. DreamHack, even. I mean, they're all great tournaments. Low Tier City, even in my own state of Texas. Low Tier City, uh, which got canceled this year, and I was supposed to actually go. But they said something about doing it in January, so I'll have to look into that. But, um, yeah, so, Melee's in third. I don't know. On to number two. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch is in second place for my top five of the main line games. And the reason being is because... And I love this game. I've gone to more tournaments for this game than any other game. Um, I mean, crap. Like, I've had colleges come ask me to play for their Smash Ultimate team. One technical college asked me to host their Smash Bros. team. But, like, all this different stuff, it's super cool to be a part of the community for it. But the only reason it falls, the only reason it falls at number two is because of the struggle that I have with the community and playing the game Sticking with the main, something like that. So I have a main, Simon Belmont, but sometimes it's hard to stick to a main when you see people just progressing and progressing and it feels like you're just stuck. Like, yeah, I have been progressing and progressing more and more and more, just training and training, but it feels like sometimes that you're in a stump. And I know that's every character and that's every player, but, you know, it just feels like that. So I'm not going to say that one just for Ultimate because that's every game, but, you know, for Ultimate, it was just more apparent. And with the community... The people who run the tournaments, they're at this age level where it's like, they're like 20 and 30 and, you know, it's kind of hard when you're like 17 and you're like, all right, let's get an online tourney or an offline tourney. And they're like, no, we don't want to do offline tourney because we could get sick. And it's like, but why don't you just do the safety breakout? No, we don't. I'm like, why are you so lazy? Like, I don't want to be controversial here in my video, but like, come on. It's just annoying having to deal with the scene and their opinions. 
So once you get past that, it's pretty good. The game itself is great. Um, you know, 74 plus with DLC characters, me's, music, you know, bunch of stages, custom stages, online, offline. It's the like greatest game that they've ever made, except for one. And it'll be my favorite. So I want to introduce you to my favorite game in the whole series at number one. Super Smash Brothers Brawl! This game was super special to me because it had... It was my very first Smash game that I ever played. Ever. Like, I've not played another Smash Bros. game. Now, I know this photo is throwing some people off with that character down there in the bottom middle. Um, Little Mac was not in this game, but this was the best photo I could find that wasn't a you know, 100p JPEG or something. But yeah, so this introduced many characters such as Zero Suit Samus, Solid Snake, Sonic, Pokemon Trainer, Lucario, Wario, uh, Meta Knight, all these different kind of characters. Wolf, I forget, Ike, Lucas. I mean, there were so many characters. I think I already said Wario. Uh, another couple things that this uh, game introduced was Subspace Emissary, so one of the first and best, like, it's, it's still the best in all honesty, story modes, like, I could, I, it's five hours of pure gameplay that I could sit there and play forever, and I could just keep doing it and doing it and doing it. It was the first to add Final Smashes, which, being a competitive player, isn't all too hype for me, but they did. A lot of new items, assist trophies, all these different great things, they're amazing, uh, I can remember my very first Smash Bros. game ever from this game and in total, because this game was my first Smash Bros. game. I remember sitting in my best friend BJ slash Mashy, fresh boy, whatever, his apartment down the road, and we were playing on the Wii, and he goes, I got a new game, you want to try it out? I'm like, hey, let's go. He pulls out Brawl, he picks Sonic. And I'm like, well, I don't know anybody here except for Mario. So I picked Mario, and I won. Barely, but I won. And I will never forget the rush of that. And ever since that day, a Smash legend was born. Costa, the king of all Smashers. He just hasn't um, been able to show it yet because money, travel, all that. So. But once he gets up there, once he starts going to a couple like super major tourneys, life's going to be good. Speaking of which, I have a tourney this Saturday, so root on me for that. Uh, it's an in-person one, so take that, you 20-year-old hippies. Um, but yeah. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I want your list and opinions on this video in the comments below. Uh, please don't go down there and just be like, Jonah, your opinion sucks. You know, why is Brawl at the top? Why is Smash 4 so low? Why is Project M and Project Plus in a different category than the main games? They're just as good. But yes, they are, but I don't count them in the same category. You know, why is Smash 4 at the bottom? Why is Smash 64 so low? Why is Melee third? I feel like the one I'm going to get the most is Melee. Is like below brawl what but yeah so thank you guys for watching again hope you enjoyed so the first person to watch the video comments like another super appreciated if you would leave a comment subscribe leave likes um share on your social medias and discord um check out our reddit r slash jonah plays i haven't checked it in a while i'll do it after this video and i'll see you guys in the next one have a good day good night and good